Hey everybody, what's going on? It is Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to play through a few rounds of Flip 7. If you want to see our full review, you can click the link in the video description. Otherwise, stick around here, and we'll get playing. So, Flip 7. There are the components. You're going to take this deck of cards, you're going to shuffle them up, and depending on the number of players, it doesn't matter on the number of players, but if you have more than 18 players, you're going to want to have two sets of cards, two packs of two boxes. Uh, but otherwise, you're going to take the card, shuffle them up, and then you're going to deal each player one. So we're going to play a three-player game here. So this player will get one, this player will get one, and this player will get one. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we are trying to collect as many different numbers as we can, kind of blackjack style, and if we ever get two of the same number, we bust. It's a race to be the first player to get to 200 points. The value of the card is the number on the card, okay? So we'll start with that player. They're either going to decide if they want to stay, which means they're out for the round, they will collect their points, or they're going to hit, blackjack style, and try to get another card. If they get the same card, again, they would bust. So they're going to hit six. All right, so one more thing. The number of the card is how many cards of that number is in the deck. So there's seven sevens, six sixes, 11 elevens, all that kind of thing. So they're still in. This player, they're going to hit as well. And they busted. They got two fives. They are out. This player, still in. Uh, they're gonna flip they're gonna flip they busted so it's just this player in uh, they're gonna do one more we'll bring them around here they're gonna do one more they got a nine um, I think they're gonna stay all right so they're done nobody else scores any points because they busted they're gonna add up their points so 13 plus 9 22 they're gonna write that down discard their cards and we're gonna go in to another round so again same thing we flip a card we got a freeze. You're gonna play that on any player that you want. They're gonna be out of the round and they're gonna play it on this player. So they're out of the round. This player would get a card still. So they'll get an 11, they get 11 points and this player will get a nine, okay? So this player, it, it, this would pass around but I'm just kind of doing it. So this player would technically be first, would have been first and doing all the dealing but it doesn't necessarily matter. Okay, so this player is gonna take a card. They're gonna get to hit because they don't have any cards. So there you go, nine. Um, they are out because they are frozen, so they just get 11 points. We'll go to this player, they're gonna hit, so they have a three. This player's gonna hit, they have a five. Uh, I'll do one more card over here, two. They'll do one more card over here, eight. You know, let's do one more card. Oh, and I busted, got two nines, so I'm out. This player's gonna do one more, and they have a four, and they will be done. So there we go. So they would get 11, this player would get 14, 18, 26. Write that down. So they would be at, you know, closer to the, the 200, like that. All these cards would go away. And we would do that all again. Again, we're gonna keep playing like that until someone gets to 200 points. Uh, if the deck runs out, you're gonna shuffle the discards and move forward. There's also a couple other cards I wanted to talk to you about. There are second chance cards. This is a card you can get that will, if you get a, sec a double number, you can discard that number and this card and you will be protected from one bust. There is flip three as well. Um, so when that comes out, you can give that to any player, including yourself. All of these, except for the freeze and flip three, you can give to anybody. This one you're gonna wanna keep because it helps you. Uh, but flip three, you would get that and you would take three cards and you flip them. So if I gave that to a player, they'd have to flip three, they would bust if they got that. Even, the, you know, they would get two tens. They already had a 10 that could bust them as well. And that's it, that's the game. There's one more rule, it's called flip seven. Because at any time, if you ever have seven different numbers in front of you, the round ends, even if people are still in, and you're gonna get your card score plus an additional 15 points. I guess there are a few other cards as well. There's some modifier cards that are gonna look like this. Um, they're gonna add to your total. So if this player would have had four only and they got frozen, instead they would get four plus 10, they get 14. So that's, you know, that's not bad. The best one is, let me see if I can find it, times two. Let's go take your score and multiply it by two. You can get a big chunk of chains in there. You get a flip seven and a times two. That's a lot of points. So again, play like I showed you. If you get any modifiers, that's that. You can never bust. So if you got like um, double multipliers, that doesn't matter. That's not gonna bust you. It's only the numbers that matter. Uh, and that's the game. Again, you run out of cards, you will shuffle and keep dealing. And there's one exception to the number rule. I said how there's, you know, one number, the number of the cards is how many cards is in the deck. 
there is a zero and there's one zero. So while they're, um, because otherwise zero wouldn't have any cards, but so there's zero and one have one cards and then number of the cards is face up. So again, that is all, that's it. So that's how you play flip seven. Again, if you want to see our full review, you can click the link in the video description. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And as always, keep gaming. Yeah.